Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. In this video, I'm going to be doing a purchase I made from a friend here on YouTube. And I was getting caught up on some of my videos. And then when I got to hers, she had some, she was doing, I guess, kind of like her purse clean out, you know, going through stuff and seeing what you're not going to use and, you know, <laughs> seeing if someone else would be able to love it just as much as she did. Well, to go back to a few years ago, I had a mishap with one of my bags and I knew I was going into the outlet to either find a replacement or just to get another bag, whichever happened. <laughs> and I ended up picking up this item here. This is the Dunian Burke Safiano Cooper. And this probably was maybe 2018, I want to say. It's been a few years ago. So this is when Cooper was still hot and heavy and it was my first time seeing one in person. They had the Safiano and the Florentine versions, but the Florentine ones were like scratched up and they didn't have any in the bag. And the Safiano caught my eye because the colors always pull up vibrant and rich and saturated. So at the time I did not have, I want to say any gray bags in my collection. So I was like, well, you know what? Let me just start working on that. So I picked up the Cooper. I was able to grab this one and this is in the color, I want to say it's called smoke gray. So it's not like a dark charcoal. It's not a light, light gray. It's kind of like in between. So I'm hoping it's showing up true to color and it's definitely gray. And I don't know if I can, that'll help a little bit, but it's definitely gray and this is in Safiano. So this bag is, we'll just say from 2018 and i've had it that long it's safiano so wear and tear i'm not concerned about <laughs> but in case you want to look these are the corners feet on the bottom and it's a shoulder carry so i know phenomenal personality loved her coopers her and um kimberly mines <laughs> so cooper was just one of those great bags that it didn't stay around long enough for everyone to be able to love it the way it was loved. So I know Dooney Attic has one in like a pearl color. It looks like an ombre when you see it because it's almost like it plays a chameleon type vibe, but hers is very pretty. And I believe she got hers, it was around that time when they did the Dooney meetup and they went up to the tent sale and stuff. So there's a few videos out there for you to see if you're looking for more information on the Cooper. It's currently not available. It pops up every so often on Dooney in the I Love Dooney section under the last call or sometimes the Florentine one may pop up in various colors. So my good old YouTube buddy says what that everyone loves. <laughs> she had this particular bag and as soon as I saw that she had it for purchase, I had to reach out to her to see if she still had it because I was behind on my videos, and so by the time I saw it, the bag could have sold. And when I reached out to her, she immediately responded back, and the bag was still available. So I didn't even finish watching the video at that time. I paused it, said, okay, how do I pay you? <laughs> I knew Sus keeps her bags in immaculate condition, had no question or concerns. And I'm opening this up backwards because mine and her information is still on the front. <laughs> so I'm trying to cut my way around here. So this is how it arrived. And oh boy, can you send some of your packing tips to Dooney and Burke? <laughs> she has the bubble wrap around it in the dust cover and the little pockets over here. Thank you, sus. <laughs> but here we go. Like I say, I didn't have to ask what type of condition or nothing because we've all seen sus what channel and when she shows her bags, each one of them looks like it's brand new. She has an amazing collection that she has shown us bags and we're like oh man seeing her with that bag now see how I could have paired it with this and 
So she has a little note here. Hey there, thank you very much. I hope you love it. It is a beauty. Peace and love, sus. Thank you, sus. You know I appreciate this. <laughs> but yes. So the story to this was, when I walked into the Dunian Burke outlet in Orlando, when you walk in, they had a display table and the Coopers were there. It was the gray color and this color. This color caught my eye first <laughs> and I should have gotten it because I remember coming back home and I was like, man, that color was beautiful. The saturated look of it, the sheen or shine to it, whichever way. And it was just a beautiful, beautiful color. And you know me, I love my Safiano. Not because I'm rough on bags, but because I just, I don't know, they're very durable. <laughs> for my lifestyle, they work very well for me. And this color here, man, <laughs> I even tried to catch it. It popped up on the site and it was one of those deals where you purchase it and then it went to, it wasn't even available. It wasn't even on back order. So my order was canceled. So when I saw Sus had hers and she was willing to part ways and rehome it, I jumped on the chance. So the bag and the color I'm talking about is no other than another Cooper, but in the color Cranberry. Y'all, this color is showing up true to color. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. So as you can see why it caught my eye. But at the time, I had Bordeaux in my collection. I had several red bags and I was like, you know what? I didn't need this color at the time, I thought. <laughs> but I was happy with the gray one. It was my first Cooper. First time going into Dooney and Burke Outlet in Orlando. So it was still a whole pleasurable experience. But I kept thinking about this bag even up until I was able to get it from Suz. I've always thought about this bag. <laughs> so the color is cranberry. And as you can see how rich it looks on screen, that's how it looks in person. The color cranberry is just beautiful. It's like a dark berry, well, hence cranberry, a dark berry color. <laughs> so it's really, really gorgeous. And I wish I knew where my coach berry Nolita or berry wristlet was because it would pair well with this, but I'm going to have to find that. <laughs> but this is the Cooper. And Cooper was one of those ones where you either loved it or hated it because the features of it, you had this front pocket here that pretty much everyone enjoyed. This is one pocket here. Zips up. And so this is another pocket. I can put my hand in. My hands are not touching. The pockets kind of overlap. So this hand here is here, and then my other one is up under it. So the pocket goes all the way across on both sides. So you have two separate pockets. It's a very different style design, but if you love Cooper, you love that feature. Phone fit in there, um, card case or something small would fit in there. You had feet on the bottom. The gold tone hardware on here is just amazing on this color. And again, on my gray, yes. This one is not stuffed because I had it, I took everything out and then I had it flat. Suz has her stuffed and this is probably how she keeps hers on the shelf. I am going to stuff this one back again, but as you can see, this one is probably about five years old. So mine looks way different than Suz. Her stuff could be older than mine and hers looks amazing. <laughs> but the same bag, just two different colors. I am so happy to have this now in my collection. It's a forever bag. The shoulder strap is adjustable, but we all know how that goes. It's like an act of Congress trying to adjust it. I have never attempted that, <laughs> and I will not be. The one qualm about this bag that some people may or may not like is that it did not zip. It had a snap closure, and that's how it snapped. And as you can see how well she has this bag stuffed, this amount was in there, and she had the bag snapped and it shipped that way, still snapped. So the snap feature was very good. And on the interior, just gonna take this out so you can see, it has the red lining that we're used to. And there's the key keeper. And you get your standard Dooney setup with the logo back there, the zipper and a slip pocket. And then on the opposite side, you had the two slip pockets. My phone does fit down in here. I have a bottle of water. 
This is how it looks in Cooper. It stands all the way up. This is the 16 ounce bottle, so it fits in there. This is 16 ounces, just in case you think I'm trying to jip you, <laughs> but 16 ounces. So this bag, it was just an amazing bag. Like I said, they had it in Florentine and I believe Salmon, I believe maybe Air Crew, but definitely, you know, the usual trio, black, chestnut, and um, natural. I did not get any of those. For some reason, I was only drawn to the Safiano ones. Now, phenomenal personality. This is where it all started with that French blue. She had this bag in the pebble leather version. They also had that in the French blue. Bag was just gorgeous. That was one that I missed out on too. <laughs> but yes, so now these will be the two Coopers that I have in my collection. And these will probably be it because there were literally no other colors that I was on the hunt for. This one I purchased in Dunienberg Outlet in Orlando. And this is the one that I purchased from Suz What. Both amazing colors. Gray, which some people consider to be their neutral. And this is the color Cranberry. Both all year round. Very comfortable carry. Shoulder bag. I mean, just it was just the perfect bag for people that love to hobo. So just wanted to come do this unboxing and show my appreciation to Suz What. I thank you so much. And she sent this during the month of March. I'm just now trying to get caught up with filming all my videos. I did not have to film it, but I wanted, I always like to film stuff that when I get friend mail, just so they can see the appreciation and stuff. I do appreciate it. And this is the Cooper in the color Cranberry. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you again, Suz What. And I will see you in my next one.